The little boy stands as a stark testament to humanity's capacity for both innovation and destruction. This streamlined design, a chilling masterpiece of engineering, belies the complex physics within. Designated simply as little boy, it was the first atomic weapon ever used in warfare. Developed in absolute secrecy during World War II, its existence would fundamentally alter the course of human history. This weapon, embodying the cutting edge of wartime technology, introduced the world to the atomic age. Externally, the little boy casing is divided into key sections, each critical to its function, beginning with the distinctive nose Adjacent section. to the nose, the gun section houses the primary firing mechanism designed for immense internal pressure. The tail section, with its distinctive fins, provides aerodynamic stability, crucial for its trajectory. Stabilizer fins are not mere aesthetics. They are meticulously designed for controlled flight, ensuring the weapon reached its target Long accurately. Its casing, subtle external sensors and access panels hint at the complex internal systems, managing everything from arming to atmospheric conditions. To understand its function, we must first recognize its primary structural divisions. These include the distinct nose section at the front, housing critical components, followed by the central gun section, and finally, the tail section, engineered for stabilization. Each segment plays a vital role in the bomb's operational sequence. The internal cross-section reveals its simple yet precise mechanism. A detailed cross-section reveals the critical mechanism. The uranium projectile, when fired, strikes the... the intricate design of the uranium target assembly and the crucial neutron initiator nestled within the tamper layers. This cross-section reveals the core mechanism, a highly enriched uranium projectile and its target assembly. Little Boy utilized a gun-type mechanism. The cordite charge ignites, firing the uranium projectile down the barrel towards the target assembly. The Little Boy's devastating power stemmed from its unique gun-type mechanism, which kept two subcritical masses of uranium. The first, a conical uranium projectile, is depicted here as subcritical mass one. The second the section reveals the precisely machined hollow interior of the target assembly, designed to accommodate the projectile with critical accuracy. Blueprint overlays demonstrate the meticulous engineering, ensuring the conical projectile fits perfectly into the hollow. The design intentionally separates these uranium masses, ensuring they remain subcritical and safe until the precise moment of detonation. Each piece, when isolated, possesses insufficient fissile material to sustain a chain reaction, rendering the uranium them target assembly, a hollow cylinder, is specifically designed to precisely house the projectile component upon impact. Blueprint overlays demonstrate the critical precision required the projectile is meticulously engineered to fit perfectly within the target assembly. This deliberate separation into two subcritical masses is a cornerstone of the gun-type design safety protocol. Thus, the critical design feature lies in maintaining these two separate subcritical masses, ensuring the design makes two distinct critical masses for inherent safety. The critical requirement for the device was maintaining two separate masses for safety keeping the system entirely inert until the moment of firing. The precise alignment of the uranium projectile and the target assembly is crucial. The internal structures internal including structure including highlights the breech plug and the cordite charge. Once the barometric sensors reach the preset altitude, the firing sequence begins. The firing sequence begins as the electrical signal reaches the detonators. The cordite propellant of the cordite charge initiates the sequence, creating a powerful thrust that accelerates the uranium projectile towards the target assembly. The cordite ignites, generating immense pressure that propels the uranium projectile down the barrel. The 
uranium projectile accelerates down the barrel towards the target assembly. As the cross-section reveals, the conical uranium projectile mates with the target isolator. The internal structures are revealed as the projectile reaches the target. As the uranium projectile reaches the target assembly, the neutron initiator activates. The projectile merges with the target assembly, achieving critical mass. The firing mechanism ignites, propelling the uranium projectile into the target assembly. This achieves critical mass, 